Hi, it's time for Junk Journal July. This is a daily prompt challenge for junk journalers. It's hosted by Meg Journals and Get Messy Art. I'll link to more information in their channels down in the description, but I wanted to show you the journal I made using the cinch binding tool. I have a video that shows how I did this for another journal, and I will link to that down in the description. And I'll put it up here in the card too, if you're curious about how easy it was to make this journal with that tool. Junk Journal July has daily prompts. Those are listed on Instagram by Meg Journals and also on YouTube. But I have created just on a three by five card, I've created my own prompt list so that I always have that handy. I could have printed the list but I decided this year just to write it out. And each day of July, there is a different prompt. So I'm going to fill this journal using these prompts. And the first day prompt is good vibes. So here is my good vibes spread. Good vi I just journaled here a little bit about Good vibes makes me think of the feeling of summer and tropical and beachy and my favorite flower, which is hibiscus. So I just made this spread using some flowers that I photographed recently and I added some sequins and this good vibes pocket card. Tomorrow, day two, this is a little sneak peek, the prompt is pop of color. So I've started my pop of color page. And I'm just gonna go ahead and page through here to show you. The junk journal is just made with lots of random paper scraps and items, some repurposed notebook paper, repurposed coloring pages and pages from an old recipe book. And this will be fun to fill using the daily prompts. Let me know if you would like me to do some videos, some process videos showing me filling the book. I could choose a day or two this month to do the daily prompts on video and share that with you. But I do for sure I will come at the end of the month and show you what my filled junk journal looks like. There's actually probably enough room in here to do junk journal July this year and next year. So we'll see how full this gets and then maybe I will continue it next year or there's also junk journal January. So there's just lots and lots of options here for doing these daily prompts. I look forward to seeing what other creators are doing with these prompts. It's always really inspiring to get, get a feel for what other junk journalers are doing. This is a master board that I just cut down to size to fit in this journal. It's a little pocket back here. And I made the cover, front and back covers from a cut and collage book that I got on Amazon. I will link to that down in the description as well. The theme of that cut and collage book was the Russian nesting dolls. And so you probably noticed that there were a lot of those nesting dolls throughout this journal. And I really loved using that cut and collage book. Here's another nesting doll. They're just throughout the book, which was a lot of fun to incorporate them. And this is a rubber stamp of a nesting doll that I have. So but I'm an Amazon associate and would receive a commission for anyone who purchases this cut and collage book using that link in the description. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone.